Christian and Rob, how are you? Do Mary. I look at my face? Is that where I should look or should yes, I look down yeah, here? No. Well, whatever you want to look. So fancy. You're a bell, so you can oh, look wherever you want to look. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, so usually I go directly to Disneyland at Rope Drop, but today is a different story because today, for the first time ever, we're seeing a 10 minute clip of Disney's Beauty and the Beast coming out next month in March. It's premiering here at Disneyland. I am so excited. seen the new featurette of Beauty and the Beast? I have loved Beauty and the Beast since I was about four years old. I know that I've seen it hundreds of times since, and now that I have kids of my own, probably thousands. I just thought it was the most beautiful and perfect movie. Ah! Part of it was this great opportunity to tell it in a live action, fully photo real version and distinguish Belle again 25 years later as a 21st century heroine. When you love something that much, you really want to do it justice. It was something that we all knew we had to live up to. I mean, it shows footage that we haven't seen yet. It even has footage that wasn't even the sneak peek at DCA. Amazing. Incredible. This is breaking news. This is flash, flash, flash. Disney just announced that coming soon, probably the next couple of weeks, Fantasyland is going to have an overlay. An overlay of gigantic proportions. Beauty and the Beast. I've been saying this for a very long time, that Beauty and the Beast needs its own special section here at Fantasyland. And it's finally, finally happening. You can see they have the chandeliers up there. You really wonder how much they're going to do to theme this for Beauty and the Beast. The Royal Reception. This is basically a Beauty and the Beast gift shop, themed gift shop. It actually is already a Beauty and the Beast gift shop. I'm not sure how much more they're gonna do to it, but let's go take a look inside and see what they have. It looks like they have this shop already set up. I don't think they have to do much more. Everything in this store is Beauty and the Beast. The animated version and the live action version. This is so cute. Belle. Small town. Village costume. If you're gonna go Belle, you gotta go to the small town village costume. I don't know what that is. Is that a horse? Is that a pig? You got Chip. This is an actual mug. I've seen him around the park often. I really like this Bell doll a lot more than the Emma Watson one. I just think it's very classic, very much the animated version. I think it's very pretty. The dress is great. I don't know. I like that one more. I love it. I love this the little rose. Look at the eyes. Look into Belle's eyes. We have these little miniatures. These are good for the dashboard of your car. I have come to find out. Gaston, he's coming for a limited time only. Of course, you got your bell themed mini ears. We've seen these around all, all over the place in the park. Bell has her head off. I guess because you can change the costumes. It's kind of scary to display it that way, but Beauty and the Beast. Herbal tea, chamomile, honey, and vanilla. Oh, you want to put that one back? There you go. <laughs> and you have the Beast, which I really do believe is fabulous. I really think he's a fantastic doll. I mean, look at the, the detailing on the, uh, on the jacket. If you look at my costume vlog, it really looks very similar. They obviously did a fantastic job referencing 
the real costume. Again, this reminds us of the animated version of the film. Look how cute this one is. Belle reading a book, hovering over her, the beast with the butterflies and the birds. Seeing the preview, I have to. Here we have AJ. So I want your opinion, okay? You okay. saw you saw the preview <laughs> yeah. that's here at DCA. I saw it about four times. Oh, if people wow. if people saw my last vlog, these I you know interviewed yeah. people coming out. They gave me their opinion. What is your opinion on the movie, on Emma, on the preview? We'll do a compliment sandwich. <laughs> um, I thought it was really awesome to see all the characters like in real life. That was totally cool. Uh, you know the the little scene. Or did yes. You, is that like spoiler alert? Oh no, don't worry okay. about it. I, I spoiled it all already. So. Okay. Like in the village scene, or when she's singing Bell. That was all great, except her singing. Like her singing wasn't up it, to it, par. Now let me ask you: Is it because? It's not up to par to your, the original, you feel, or you're just not. It is, it's a different rendition of the song. No, I feel like it's not up to par to the original. I think the <laughs> singing's just not up to par. And then to end it with a compliment, I I really love the Gaston part. Maurice's Treats is gonna sell some gray stuff, and I heard it's delicious. Currently, this is their menu, but I heard it's gonna change. They got some great bread here. It's delicious. Look at this. If I didn't have gluten issues, I would eat it all. I had to stop and see Rapunzel because it was just too cute. I know this is the Belle episode. This is all about Belle, not about Tangled, not about Rapunzel, but I had to do it. But let's get back on track. We're always getting distracted. I don't know why. Why were we getting distracted? It's not like there's anything happening here. I'm very excited. My I'm audience very excited is too. very excited about Your it. Your audience, are they all in there? They're all in there. Wow, all hi everyone. Of them, and they want to know so small. what you're going to do when Gaston comes around again. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, I'm so used to having him around here. He's been visiting us so much. Has he really? Yes, he likes to come by, although he doesn't like to read do I, very why much. Why do I miss him all the time? Because I told him if he doesn't like to read books, it's hard for him to come around here so <laughs> yes, often. Yes. But we're excited to have him back and to meet some so, of the friends, and hopefully he learned how to sign his name by now. So we should hold this whole book. That's what we should do. Just hold all the books. Yes, and we'll hold the books and we'll just give them to him as he walks by. That's fantastic. That's what I've been telling all of my friends waiting over there. Yeah, and keep him away from Flynn too. Probably. Oh yes. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much, Thank Belle. you. Let's say goodbye to Bye, everybody. Everyone. Thank you. I have said from the very early stages that Beauty and the Beast, Belle needed a place, needed a home. And the fact that it is happening is for a limited time. When Disney releases more details about the dates, I will definitely, definitely update you in my vlog. Please come back to this vlog. I also want to remind you, the giveaway is on February 28th for the plush Belle and Beauty and the Beast dolls. So please, I'll leave the link down in the description. Go to that vlog. All you have to do is comment on that specific vlog. That's all you have to do, and you will be entered to win. We're gonna reveal the winner on YouTube Live on February 28th. We don't have the exact time yet. That we will announce probably next week in another vlog. Until next time, please like this video. Please subscribe. Please share. Sharing is very important. I love you guys. Every time I read a comment, it means the world to me. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Kennedy.